I know there are options to wooden hoops and again you want a hoop that's about 14 to 16 inches. There are the PVC frames. Some of them are um, I guess quite snazzy. They sit on the ground. They're almost like a cube and other ones are like hoops, lap. I've seen students use them I think it's a little more difficult to get your tension exactly right, but the beauty of it, you know, so I, I guess I personally, I might shy away from it, but you have to remember, I'm a frame girl. I love quilt frames. I don't even like quilting on a hoop, but like, let's say you were traveling, the beauty of the PVC pipe frame is that it all breaks down. So if any of you use the PVC pipe frames and would take a moment to comment on how you get the tension right and how you work with it, I know everybody here would really, really appreciate it. The other thing was somebody asked about um, thimble on the thumb. You know, my dad I think he learned to quilt at about age 60. He used a tailor thimble, and that's the thimble with no end on it. But this is the thimble that I use. Um, I showed it on the earlier video. It runs two or three bucks, and right about here is where the needle will end up, right in that area. You're right. I don't think like the Roxanne or the uh, Thimble Ladies or um, Tommy's will work as nicely, you know, because you are working on the side when you're working with your thumb and you are, um, yeah, you're not pushing from the ball, but I know there's somebody out there I'm sure that uses uh, one of the snazzier thimbles. And again, speaking of snazzier thimbles, don't forget the clover one that, um, that I talked about in one of the episodes. Go back to the thimble area and pay attention to that. Also somebody mentioned about using the leather thimbles. If you're going to use the leather thimbles for hand quilting, I'd probably go towards the little black ones. But again, when you really get going, if there's a little metal disc in there and um, if you miss that disc, whew, I mean it is going to go right into your finger. Well, that's about it. I know what I'm going to do next as far as the classroom goes, but you can give me your ideas. And one gal commented that she doesn't like when I'm up like this. I don't either. I, but sometimes I'm holding the camera so that I can turn it back and forth. So I apologize for that. Uh, right now it's on a tripod and that works really well. My goal is to get these out to you quickly and not have to make it a big, giganto editing experience.